from Canada where he met with his Canadian counterpart to discuss ag trade issues, including their controversial dairy supply management program. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock has more. Between Secretary Sonny Perdue and Canadian Ag Minister Lawrence McCauley, no trade topic was off the table. We discussed uh, certainly their uh, supply management issue. We discussed the tariffs in dairy, and we discussed uh, grain grading and uh, different things like that, the wine issue. Purdue was clear USDA is not responsible for negotiating trade deals, which are in the purview of U.S. Trade Ambassador Robert Lighthizer. So conversations did not get specific, but he expects talks to be rekindled soon. I think uh, Minister Freeland, uh, after she met with Ambassador Lighthizer, expressed the fact that we will continue to discuss NAFTA on into the summer and hopefully uh, have some resolution there. We feel uh, probably more optimistic in a Mexican uh, agreement sooner than Canada. Looming elections south of the border are raising the stakes. The Mexican presidential frontrunner says an end to NAFTA wouldn't be, quote, fatal for Mexico. In response, Purdue says the U.S. may split NAFTA into two separate deals. The issues of Mexico and Canada are uh, vastly different in, the, in many ways, and I think the ambassador believes that uh, we could get a bilateral deal done more quickly with Mexico and then with Canada and possibly come back together uh, with all three nations. Dairy continues to be an intractable issue between the U.S. and Canada. As Purdue says, Canada's supply management program allows for overproduction, causing unfair competition for producers abroad. Frankly, I don't know how we can go forward if Canada insists on a class six, seven uh, part of their program, and hopefully we can uh, uh, make that clear to them regarding their supply management. Simply, we're asking them to manage their supply domestically. We insist that they do that so they do not affect negatively world markets. Though Purdue says he doesn't think it's appropriate to tell Canada to eliminate their supply management program, President Trump has made it clear in recent weeks that he expects big changes on dairy specifically, or NAFTA will be in jeopardy. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock in Washington. While many Canadians oppose changes to the country's dairy policy, but the nation's largest dairy processor thinks the U.S. has a point. In regards to Canada's Class 7 milk policy,